Good day. This tutorial will focus on how to set up your NTOP NG server on a Linux CentOS OS device. First thing you'll need is a terminal connection under PuTTY. I'm gonna select SSH. Logging into the server. Right now, the server that I have is CentOS 7. To, show, to display the server operating system, all you have to do is enter cat slash etc os dash release CentOS 7. Next thing you'll need is to download the repository that NTOP service will need. Type in wget https dl dash. I'll give a I'll give out the link under the under the description. There we go. Once the repository has been uploaded into the server, we need to have we need to install the NTOP repository. First, we have to go to the directory. etc yum.repos.d and then download from the web this repository there we go that's done next we need to install redis to install redis this is the command yum install redis hire this Try again. Oops. Actually, we're done with Redis. Next comes the main package, which is NTOP NG. We install by. First, we need to clean all errors that we encountered earlier. Okay, that's done. We need to do an update. may take a while now that's now that the update is complete we need to install the end to disk probe and top ng and end top ng data the command we need to use is this might also take a while yeah on my system NTOP NG took at least five minutes to finish installing the next thing we need to do is enable the, the packages that we just installed so first thing we need to enable Re Redis next Enable and top ng. There you go. Let's restart the service. Oops. So I read this. Next, start and top ng. There. Now the comments we just entered, it would mean that we enable Redis and then we we start and top ng during startup. Next comes the firewall. So from the firewall, we need to allow access from the local network to this specific server which is this one. So from the IP config. This one has the IP address 192.168.10.2. So all the local computers under this subnetwork should be able to access via the NTOP port number, which is 3000. So the command that we need to use here is oops, sorry. 
this firewall dash cmd that's the the command and then the zone is public add the port number 3000 it's a TCP protocol hit enter once it says successful next command will be adding another port number which is 637 9 it's another TCP protocol once that's added we need to restart the firewall dash dash reload so to check if those port numbers are already running we need to type in netstat dash tnl we should see port 3000 and then 6379 next thing that we need to do here is to create a configuration file for ntop ng by default redis and ntop ng is installed inside the directory usr slash local folder so first we need to go to usr slash local slash etc and then make a directory called ntop ng go to that folder ntop ng and then we create the configuration file i'll be using nano and then the configuration file name would be ntopng.start ntopng.start okay that's good next we enter the lines into the file local dash network and inside that 172.31.0.0 it's the local IP address interface let's save this file close it by pressing control X next we need to create another file called ntop ng.pid we enter the lines dash g equal v slash var slash run slash ntop ng.pid control o to save control x to exit and then we have to restart the services redis and ntop ng so that the configurations that we created is gonna be loaded so we restart first system ctl restart redis Oops. let's wait for the system there we go next restart and top ng Hopefully we don't get any errors because if we if we do we're gonna have to troubleshoot. Well looks like we're good here. So what we need to do next is to check the log file if we have data already coming into our server. So to do that we're gonna use the command tail and we would like to see 50 lines each under the directory var log and top ng slash and top ng dot log oops and top ng dot log okay it says here that we had an error double check if we do have that file we need to go to that directory so var log and top ng okay it doesn't have that folder let's go to var log first then list all the files that are inside of that Okay, from here, if you don't have it, we're gonna have to recreate it first. So we're gonna, if we're gonna make a directory, we're gonna use this command make dir, and then and top ng. Next comes the other directory. the file which is ntop p uh, ntop ng dot log so nano ntop ng dot log I'm just gonna enter a comment here 
custom comment. There we go. Then now we alre we already have the file. Once we the file is already created, we'll have to test our server by opening a browser. Once we're done creating the file ntopng.log, next we need to test our server if we are able to open the GUI of our ntopng server. So to do that, we need to open a browser. I choose Chrome, enter the IP address of your server, and then the port number it's associated with, 3000. There. You should be on the login page. Default username and password will be admin and then password admin. At first login, we, we are required to change your password. So first, um, enter your desired password. Then hit on change, pa change password once you're selected password is already secure for you there we go you should have the latest update or the latest updated version of your ntop server this is how it should look like Once your NTOP server is already capturing data, on the dashboard, on the traffic tra dashboard, it would display all of the computers that are receiving or giving out traffic. Usually I would go to the host and then see all of them. So for example, if we're going to take a look at the host, 192.168.10.128 IP address. Just click on that. And then there are options here if we would like to view it by graph. Right now it doesn't have any data. Let's look for a host that has a lot. For example, 10.237. Right now this is my computer. Let's open the traffic graph. Earlier by 30 minutes, it reached at least 100 kbps throughput. So if we're gonna hover over to the left, you can see here. We can see here that the minimum average for its throughput it was 7.97 kilobits and the average would be 33 that's the highest and it's currently communicating with 237 and 233 